You ready for the last box in this Amazon customer turns hodgepodge palette? If you're not ready, it's too late because we're going to do it in this video. So we've already seen the first two boxes from this $1,505 MSRP Amazon liquidation palette in the first two videos. The second box, when I actually, after I got done filming, I went back through the box looking at items and there was a, like a, a dog collar, like a, a training shocking dog collar that sold new for like $126 and I totally missed it in the video. Like I kind of like almost like chucked it to the side, but going back through and research a little bit more, I realized it's actually kind of expensive. So if it's new for 126, it probably sells used for at least like, you know, half of that and a little bit more. So at least like probably 60, 70 bucks. So that might've been one of the bigger ticket items in the entire palette was in box number two, the last video. We don't know for sure because this box is box three, the last box in this huge palette. This video is brought to you by ShopZobi.com. Zobi is the home of the first ever V Shout virtual celebrity shout out and autograph program. For one low price, you will get a celebrity to sign an item for you and give you a personal video message. Check out the ShopZobi.com website and make sure to use my promo code KICKS10 to save 10% off most everything on the website. ShopZobi.com is your number one source for authentic celebrity autographs. What I paid for the entire palette was $323. That included the price of the palette. 10% buyer's premium and then shipping costs because yes, I had to pay shipping because my local liquidator still will not let you go to the warehouse to pick up this liquidator because there's several in my city, but just this liquidator who deals with Amazon liquidations, you can't go to the warehouse to pick up these, these boxes on pallets. You have, to, you have to pay shipping to ship it across the city, which is kind of ridiculous, but we're, we're learning to deal with this new kind of uh, way of life when it comes to business. So so I got, with shipping costs, I had to pay about 20% for this pallet, which is one I like to pay, but it's still gonna be profitable. And the first two you've already seen where I'm already turned a profit, a potential profit on this pallet. So that's awesome, right? So actually, Mom, I'm going to unbox this. I'm gonna show you a little sneak peek on the top of this box. So if you do not, want to see any like preview of this box then you're going to want to actually fast forward this video about 30 seconds about right now because we're going to show you a little preview a little sneak peek for some people like seeing us so you've been warned and here we go just cracked it open here's the top of the box open it up let's see well, the top layer shows us we have i don't know what that is wow it's heavy it's, it's metal whatever it is we got some boxes here what is this like diapers or something disposable yep disposable diapers <laughs> nothing like diapers and pallets so let's go ahead let's start digging through this box let's see what i can find in here okay so that's a little little preview to it let me go ahead and me pull up this first thing that the people who chose to watch the preview saw. We have diapers. At least it's still factory sealed. We have Hearts disposable diapers, won't leak, secure fit, size medium. This is diapers for your dog. How much value is this worth? I don't know. I don't really sell too many uh, doggy diapers. That's not really my forte is dog diapers but on amazon brand new this sells for 19.99 new so i'll probably try to put this on ebay for like 10 bucks plus shipping so this could be at least probably about 10 bucks right there it's not glamorous but i can still i can still sell me a little bit of money back on it this is also on top oh, i thought it was metal it's not it's like wooden or plastic we have a little just kind of like a a gray little tray what you'd use this for just to put maybe like oh my, my wife i think she took them down though we used to have in our like our uh, master bathroom she put these things onto the wall like a couple of them like staggered like stair steps then you put like your bathroom stuff in these so maybe that's what you know it's, that's used for also i don't know next we have a mystery box 
I think we've already seen the same box in like the first or second video from this this palette. I think we've already seen this. Yep. One that's like it. We have a whole box of replacement wall plates. So the whole box, like five bucks, not very much. And it's also not very exciting, is it? Oh, we have some Gorilla waterproof patch and seal tape. Sweet. Stuff like this we always keep for our own use around the house. Because this is like the good Gorilla tape. Like that's, that's good stuff right there. <laughs> that's what dreams are made of right there. Good stuff. Oh, we have... We have arm and elbow or arm. Elbow and knee pads for children if they like ride ride their bikes or skateboard. Not very expensive on that either. 70 GPH a water pump. <laughs> That's random. A water pump. Sure has a little bit of value to it. Why not? too much but this will probably be listed in our ebay store a bit more than likely oh wow this is a clear oh we have a balloon <laughs> i think it's this, this like one of the balloons that you, you blow up I'm pretty sure it's what this is yep nope yeah no yeah no yes yes that's her aired up right there. So it is a balloon. What is that like? What letter is that? A D or something? I don't know. That's uh, that's kind of junk. <laughs> liquidation. No, nobody goes to buy you know that on liquidation. Then we have. This is very eclectic palette so far, or this box. All these boxes of this pound have all been very eclectic. Oh, we got coasters. Oh, this first one's broken now. We have the U. This first coaster's broken. It's like it's cracked. But the other three, though, are totally fine. So I, I can still sell this. You know. I won't sell it on eBay, though. This will be like a local sale here. So if you're into, you know, big college football fan, there you go. But yeah, since one of those is broken... Pretty much I'll sell it locally. It's just like a set of three instead of four. Then we have a rinsing spout for your bathtub or for, for your shower. Brand is... Niagara is the brand. Okay. That's a good local sell right there. Not an eBay thing. Oh, we got a mystery box. Hold on. Hold on. Mystery box. Mystery box. No clue what's in here. There's no, like, no sneak peek. There's no label on this thing. We got a pure mystery. What's in this? Take a guess at home. Sometimes you open up things like this and, it, and there could be an urn in here. Is it gonna be another urn? Nope. Cotton tipped wood applications. Oh, this is petri dishes. This is a thing of petri dishes. It probably has some value to it, actually. It's a thing of petri dishes. So, if you're into science, I got a whole box of petri dishes for you to do your experiments with. I don't know how much that's worth. I have no clue. But I'm sure there's somebody out there on eBay that will buy that off of me, I bet. Somebody. Oh, we got a pair of shoes. Different. Eclectic hodgepodge. So here is the right shoe. The brand is Amazon Essentials. It's a men's size. Really? They don't list the size in here? Okay. But I mean, it's like it's Amazon branded dress shoes. Oh, here we go. U.S. size seven. It's a, it's a men's size seven, or actually like a teen, like a like a teenager size seven, because most men don't wear a shoe that small. Most don't. Like I wear a size thirteen. Size seven I wore back when I was like <laughs> third grade. But a size seven, I mean that technically is a men's shoe, but it's more like a teen, like a teenager shoe, I think. Here we go. Smart ball pet toy. 
Oh, I actually might keep this for our cat. This is called the Bento Pal. Oh, it has a light in it, and as the as the cat plays with it, it lights up and it shoots off like little. Oh yeah, cats would love this. I actually, we might keep that for our cat. Swiffer dusters replacements. Um, stuff like this, we don't sell. We keep that kind of stuff. I mean, yeah, we buy it from the business. Like in the past, I have been questioned whenever I say, "Oh, we're going to keep this." Well, yes, we keep it, but we do buy it from the business because all these pouch are purchased under our LLC, and then like stuff like this, we'll purchase from the LLC. You know, yeah. So whenever I say we're we're going to keep this. Yes, we do keep it because we purchase it from our LLC. Oh, we have a like a cushion pad. That'd be good for like football games, like high school football games. Because how many people's butts hurt with those high school uh, stadium seats? Because back when I was in high school, the stadium seats were wooden, and like a two-hour football game, man, your butt starts hurting. So this excellent for high school football games. I'm sure it's actually meant for something else, though. It's not meant for high school football. <laughs> then we have we have a rug, it looks like. It's called Pebbles Bath Runner. So we have a 24 by 60 gray Pebbles Bath Runner rug for your bathroom. It's kind of nice looking. I had to figure out, like, if it's used or new, though. That makes a big difference in price <laughs> between used and new. Then we have a pepper mill. Brand is, I don't see a brand anywhere, but we have a pepper mill. It's been used, it is it is not new. So that's gonna be a local sale. And here we go, here's the last item, Max, this is it. Last item, we have liquid ant baits. The box is opened up, but the actual baits are all still factory sealed. So they're still totally fine. So with liquid ant baits, of course, right now, everybody's ant problems will be going away because it's starting to get cold slowly. It starts getting cold, at least around here in the Midwest, we start seeing less ants. So, whole thing of liquid ant baits, brand new. So that's it. That is the entire Amazon customer return liquidation palette. That is what we got. So all in all, um, it wasn't bad. There was nothing like overly exciting, nothing like overly like just like shock factor or anything like that. But for the price point of $323, I know we turned a profit. Like we're going to make money on this pallet. More likely we probably will get back all our money with just the first box in this pallet, which leaves us two more boxes to actually turn the profit. And a lot of these items, uh, I should say not a lot, but probably half this pallet will not be fast sellers though. Some of this stuff will take time to sell. So sometimes with, with liquidation pallets, uh, the actual waiting time to turn a to turn a pallet could be a couple months. Let's say if you get like electronics and it's all brand new stuff, DVDs, Blu-rays, games, gadgets, gizmos, a plenty, you, like that could be turned in a week or less. But a pallet like this with like you know liquid ant baits, you know a coffee or a coffee a uh, pepper grinder some stadium seats, a basket for your bathroom or a ba or basket for something. Like something like, like a pallet like this though could actually take a little bit of time to move all this stuff. But through patience and through multiple selling outlets. A pallet like this, you have got to sell some on eBay, sell some on Amazon, sell some, you know, try to use Facebook Marketplace, try to use OfferGo, try to use uh, OfferGo, Offer up, let go. And then locally, if you have spots to sell locally, try to sell at local flea markets, swap meets, uh, have a garage sale once a month. You can always do something like that. Uh, try to sell, like I said, like, uh, locally on Facebook Marketplace and do like in-person meetups with people to try to sell stuff. So with pallets like this, you've got to get inventive in order to actually move all these items and turn a profit. So that's... That's the challenging part. That's one of the most challenging parts of pallet flipping is figuring out how to sell everything. Because a lot of times pallets isn't full of, you know, gold. It's not full of brand new factory sealed Blu-rays that you, you can just throw on eBay and they're gone. 
sometimes you got to figure out how am I going to sell this lightly used pepper grinder? How am I how, how am I going to sell this? So through experience and through you know, trial and tribulations, you learn all this stuff. And there's sometimes though you might not be able to sell stuff like this. Like there's just no way that I'm, I'm going to be able to sell this. So in that case, what I what I do is I will donate stuff like actually this pipe donated actually donate it to like one of your local charities uh like uh salvation army you, you like stuff and pouts that you just cannot turn it's better just to donate them and use the donation as a tax write-off for your business because at the end of, of the year the more write-offs you have is the better it is for your business because you've got to get tax write-offs and some some stuff like this as, as i call it a stadium seat this might be best just to donate this to like salvation army or to local church, uh, you know, whenever they give to the needy, and you can actually use it as a tax write-off. So yes, you don't actually get money in hand, but you get taxes written off at the end of the year, which helps when you owe the tax man 25% of what you made. So yeah, that's just a little bit of a breakdown of a little bit of a behind the scenes little talk about pout flipping. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed that. Um, I'll be getting some more liquidation pallets. I'm trying very hard to get in electronics, but the prices on those right now are expensive. Lots of electronic Amazon pallets are going for like 50% of MSRP. 50. They're going expensive now. I, It's crazy. The prices, there is no way to actually turn a profit. You might break even when it's all said and done. So I'm, I'm daily, I'm looking at my liquidators trying to get a purely electronics palette. I'm working on it. I'm trying. People have been asking for it. I want to do them. This is my favorite kind of palette. I'm trying to get electronics, trying my best. Hopefully I'll, prices will come down a little bit to at least like 30%. Then I might start buying them again. And uh, because they're, they're so much fun to do. I love, I love electronics palettes. So much fun. So Anyway, that's all I got for you today. I rambled on for a little bit. A little bit of a behind the scenes talking. Get to know the reseller side of myself. Like I said earlier, direct links down below to my eBay store, my Poshmark store where you can actually buy stuff direct from us if you'd like to. And also feel free to subscribe to my secondary YouTube channel, Franchise TV. On that channel, I upload videos now three times a week. Some videos are like videos you'll see on this channel and some stuff is completely different kinds of genres that I do on that channel compared to this channel. So I just have two channels pumping out videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time and I'm out.